the probe is going to go in, sees the hatch is there, and there's just, you know, what is Showtime going to do? That's what the story of the rest of this series is going to be. Uh, I think Serral's expectation will probably be to play this one out normal, and it's going to be that Stargate play. So you can, of course, always take a little bit of map control with Phoenix. Could just be straight into Oracle. Could be multiple Oracles. All right. Well, the Overlord will see that. Regardless of whatever it was going to be, that was the Stargate is scouted pretty quickly. And, I mean, most of the time, you know, Zerg players, you, 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 it's not unusual to just see them throw down the spores blindly if they don't see anything. So mm -hmm. I would be very surprised if Serral ended up really taking much damage from this. But So he has to find a place with a low amount of queens. If you can find a place with just one queen and a spore, dive on it. Yeah, there's a lot of damage that you can get done with that. And oh, God. It, gives you, it gives you a pretty amazing anchor as well. But we have two queens and a spore in basically two every spores, base, actually. except for the main, yeah. which is two spores. <laughs> yep. That's the place that, that uh, Showtime chooses to go. So, of course, Serral was ready. Uh, before Showtime made his decision, Serral had already decided that that was the most vulnerable day. <sighs> now Showtime is going to go to the natural and get what he can. But oh. I mean, the setup on each base is just flawless. Yeah, no, that's disgusting. Like if you're Showtime, you go by each base and you're just like, oh my God, <laughs> what the yep. hell do I do against this guy? He does have the prism. Oh, the fake prism. I, I, I love it. Love that fake prism. It's going to get spotted also by the Watchtower, so... Showtime being very careless with his fake prism. Very, very, it's very fake, that prism is my point, you know? Yeah. He's like, is this the Roddy prism? I'm not, you know, like, <laughs> is this is this what people are trying to do to beat me now? And that oh, one is going to pull back. Towers, did he give up? Yeah, one queen. One queen, because guess what? It's not a real prism. So, yeah, while you could fly a prism over one queen, <laughs> hallucinations just not really going to do it. Indeed. And the Spire is, I think, a very good decision also after, after three oracles. Oftentimes you're done with that uh, with that, st with that Stargate. So I think Muta Surprise could be really, really strong on the side of Serral, and he's banking the gas for it. Yeah, this has been this has been extremely difficult. I mean, at the very least, we haven't oh. really seen the harassment go back on the Showtime there side, right? That's the benefit of this map, is that he can do this without really putting himself at too much risk. Mm -hmm. But there's those 12 Mutalisks on the way. So we are going to see him use that tech, Paolo, and we'll have to see if uh, Showtime's got what it takes to deal with it because everything that he was planning is about to get thrown off kilter. The amount of stuff that people usually have to do to defend against mutas and PVZ, and when you get blindsided by them, is is usually really hard to recover from. Yeah, and Showtime has taken some blind precautions, but perhaps that's giving him a, a sense of false security because, of course, he has so so few and so little anti-air. But, but he says, you know what, I'm going to put a cannon at each base. I opened with a Stargate. Unlikely that Serral goes Muta, but Serral's going to keep him honest. And this might just be a game. He has like no... Uh, oh! oh, this is fantastic. Oh my God, those Archons need to be recalled right now to the natural base. Otherwise, they're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. But can they even? Maybe there's no energy and these Mutas are just going to do a lot of damage for free. They're nice moves. Yeah, his recall was actually on cooldown, Cats. So uh, he couldn't bring his units home. And those Mutalisks not only cause a nice bit of damage now to start, but as they move in and push those probes away, he's going to see he's trying to get a Phoenix out. And uh, we do know that the Phoenix, of course, is one of those units that can play ball with the Mutas, but at this point, building a bunch of Phoenix is not really what you want to be doing. Definitely not. I mean, is there Baning Speed on the way for Serral? I don't think there is, right? So that's the one saving grace for this push from Showtime. Oh, no, there is Baning Speed. Yeah. My bad. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, he's got the Bane Speed. You know, I will say... Uh, Serral showed a little bit too much respect to this army. I wonder if his mutas passed by the Templar Archives at any point. He actually didn't have Storm for the entirety of the beginning of that push, so he could have maybe dove on that. Um, Showtime was kind of moving his High Templar forward, like, hey, I'm going to Storm you, even though he didn't have it. Mm, so that, that did give him something, but not much. Yeah. The mutas have continued to stay on the other side of the map and find damage. They have been picking off cannons, shield batteries, and whatever. Defense is set up, Showtime has. Showtime's army has been deflected on the other side and forced back onto his side of the map, uh, where he's going to have to just kind of clear this mutas out and reestablish an economy. Phoenix now being produced. Yeah, well, this is just where things start to snowball, though. Now he's going to get the hive. He's going to get the rest of his upgrades. He's having a difficult time, actually, a little bit with that Phoenix. It's almost dead. I need to just at least fly it over a battery. 
And mind you, he actually did have that uh, cyber core destroyed. I just, I'm just remembering now as the yeah. new one finishes, he couldn't even build stalkers for a while. All right. He's going to kill them as they're building. He doesn't care. Jeez, and that's the best way to kill them. I mean, yeah, it's, it's best because they don't have the full HP at that point. But there's a huge engagement happening here. Serral is so cautious, so as soon as the wall, uh, wall, the, the wall runs to his wall, uh, Serral's just gonna back off. Oh, there you go. The Phoenix are dead now. So the Mutalisks can continue to frolic and play. Blink is not wow. yet ready. But he's just gonna stick it, I guess. He doesn't really mind so much anymore, losing a bunch of them as he's, he's done the damage they kind of need to do. And oh, a lot of time. Banelings are going into the natural. Yeah, that could be nasty. Seven probes falling. Let's look at the natural. If it, did anything else fall? Not really. Mute us on the other side. Oh, there we go. 13 now. Probes falling. The plus two attack not yet done on the side of Serral. Almost done, actually. So maybe could have waited. But at the same time, you know, the mutas were dying. And that's the space that they created for those things. Damn. Oh, this has been brutal. StarCraft never looks more unfair than when I watch Serral play. And he oh, built wow. even more mutas, too. How that about is, that? I see. Ah, how about that? We'll pick up one Templar. Maybe more. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's almost gotten all. He got all. He got all the Templar that were there with that army. There's still two that he had with the other force that had moved out. But he just. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. He just took away all the power. I mean, he just he just took the, the battery out of the car. Yeah, these mutas are already happy. I was, you know, I see the mutas. I'm kind of questioning them, honestly, because remake muta, you just you just lost them, right? And uh, and your opponent is now better set up for them for sure. But yeah, I mean, you're gonna have it work. 65 veins. Uh, uh, no storm. Okay, well, there are more art Templar, but not as many storms. And they're actually gonna roll through the storms and still hit the base. That's what he's going after. Just clear the base, if nothing else, any units. Extra is collateral damage, but at this point, Serral is looking to trade, rematch, defend, and uh, win. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting domination here by Serral, just laying the ultimate beat down. 18 probes dead. He's got his. He's actually only just now going to be getting his attack upgrade, uh, his first one for those roaches and ravagers. So they're going to get even more fierce than they were before. And he's just cranking out lings and banes. How is he ever yeah, going to attack Serral? It's so difficult. He put so much emphasis into that uh, Ling Bane and uh, very little actually in the backbone, right? Like usually when he was uh, making Hydras, it wasn't that many Roaches, Ravagers. Not that many, really. I mean, this is a pretty measly number of of, uh, of Ravagers, but it, it is the backbone that stays alive when he trades his entire army. Uh, it's, yeah, he's, he's doing so good. And he continues to trade over and over too. Yeah, he's taken... Uh... He's taken all of the bases that he's normally supposed to take now. He's gotten the gold gas base too. This Oracle is going to come try to microwave some of the Zerglings, but uh, good. Oh my God, there's just so much stuff. He has so many units everywhere. He's going to start biling down the rocks in this gateway. He's going to open that path back up to the natural in the main, uses the Banes. He doesn't care. Big storms oh. are going to drop, but he doesn't need to be cost effective anymore because he just has so much stuff. And that really was about the most uh, was effective way of killing those Banelings he could have ever done. Too. That, that, yeah, that was pretty cost inefficient if you're Sorrow, but I don't think you care at this point. You're remaxed already. And he yeah, just took more links. bases. Yeah, it's not like Showtime gets a counter attack opportunity or anything like that here. Yeah, no, no, he's all that's all he did by killing those Banelings was buy himself like another minute to live before Sarah tries to drive the knife in again. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. I think he recognizes obviously that his economy is just monstrous compared to Showtime. He smells blood and he's gonna continue to pile on the aggression until until Showtime dies, I think. Yeah, well, this is, this almost hurts to watch a little bit, really. Like, Showtime is a fantastic player and we all know that. And, but Serral just, Serral makes people, Serral, Serral makes, uh, Serral embarrasses people. It's probably the best way to put it with how well he controls and does stuff. Sometimes mm, he really does. Sometimes I forget how good Serral is and then I watch him play and I'm like, mm, yeah. So, uh, a little counterattack though. He's finally able to do something on the other side of the map. I think he killed a drone too. He got two drones. Nice, nice, nice. Two yeah. Drones. Um, <laughs> true, <but still>. true. <laughs> Not bad, but true. still. <laughs> oh God, look at this. Uh, at some point, do you just <laughs> GG if you look at that army and your showtime? <laughs> 
I, mean, I feel like for most players on the ladder, like if they're at 120 supply and they see that, they just you, you don't you don't even GG. You just you unplug your computer and you just leave. You go you go out of town for the weekend. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this is just disgusting. Oh oh, I'm gonna be sick. I mean, those are cost efficient storms to say the least. Oh, if the temperatures are no. Those well, paintings sacrifice something. themselves to prevent the chase. Te that's technically something. that's something, yeah. He doesn't still have an answer for the Broodlords that are going to be coming out. He's got some Blink Stalkers, but blinking under Broodlords when your opponent has still 23 Banelings, oh, that might be a little bit of a risk. I would say so. I would tend to agree there. Your, his army complexity is just not there, right? There's three Archons, and that's the, that's the best unit he has. But it's the same <laughs> thing as game one. As like, he, drop, the he links survived. Go up. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same thing as game one. He survived, but like eventually Sarah's like, okay, now I'm going to build a level of tech that you just don't have hey. the economy to deal with anymore. Hey, that was that was decent from uh, Showtime, actually, tucking away a lot of his army and Sarah overconfidently uh, using his veins. Not going to matter, but that was one of the better traits in the game. As it ends, GG, Sarah going up.